unrealistic. Watch part one if you haven't. So with this, now we have most of the world being under the blue team control, but Insog has a plan. They um, start to set their own spring offensive by taking by splitting Europe into two. With this, um, the blue team also bounces back, taking back Southern Africa, as well as being able to re-liberate parts of Europe. With this, the blue team decides that it would be a good invade, um, idea to invade Australia, so th they quickly take over parts of the Philippines and Indonesia, as well as New Guinea. The invasion of Australia is extremely in hard and difficult to do, at, and but it ends up going something like this. With the naval invasion of Australia being a being a success, we see the continuing blue team push into the sandy area. And now, um, and now all the political people are here because all the people at the party of Insoc are here. And with most of the genocide already being carried out in Australia, the blue team sees no reason to not nuke them. So with this, we have a horribly radiated Australia for the second time in this video, and they also nuke New, Ze New Zealand, because why not? So with this, they're kind of screwed now. The NSOC team is, as all the political members are dead. We also see more nukings into China and parts of Asia. As well as populated areas in India. Not too popular because all the genocide, but whatever. Somalia also gets completely wrecked, as well as parts of Africa. As well as some of the coastal areas, which are eventually recaptured. Warnings are issued to the remaining population of these areas so they can escape. But they were able- but they were- in Australia, they were able to hide it from the political offices somehow. With this, we see the areas being sw swiftly taken over, and the nukes surprisingly don't do much casualties. We see the continuing push in, into Southern Asia, and it's overall just terrible at this point. The Persian Gulf and the Red Sea are recaptured, however, and Africa is starting to fall. With this, Insoc decides the remaining parts of Insoc just use all, of the, all the rest of their nukes. With this, they just absolutely screwed the USA over, and just, uh... That happened. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, you know what? Just a little thing. I'm about right here. Ohio is about here ish. I made the world a better place. Yeah, you know, let's do this as well. Just why not? Actually, wait, no, let's protect Florida because Florida men. With this, we continue. We just, yep, yeah, see America getting screwed at this point. With this, blue team just, they're, 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 they're just, everyone's dead. Everyone, no, no, no one lives. <laughs> we, anyways, after blue team, after the blue team still holds most of the valuable areas of the world, such as the Arabian Peninsula, we see the final fall of Insoc as the radiated area, radiated areas are taken back by the by the blue team. We see Australia being captured, and with this, Insoc decides to surrender. Joke video.